Good morning, my friends. We are up and Adam, and we are late. That is the true story right now. The story of the day is we are late. I'm trying to find a Tim Hortons open in my hometown of Port Hope, and that is not happening. Other thing, what have I been up to? Well, I've done a little fishing over the last month or so. I've done, I went on an off-grid camping trip. I caught some bass. I have done an absolute pile of work. I've been working a ton of these still outdoors. We just finished up our three day sale and today I'm finally going goose hunting. I am over the moon excited to be on the road to the, the Diamond Days Ponderosa to get in some goose hunting with Dave Barstow and Mark Hunter. It has been crazy summer, but I've been trying to like work a little more, put a little money in the bank that I could take lots of time out to hunt this fall, not only with myself, Casey and my friends. So the last month or so has been a little crazy hectic in my life, but we're through it. The sale's over, we caught some bass, went camping, enjoyed some life. Now it is time to go to the Barristow Ranch, Diamond Days Ponderosa, and get some goose hunting in it. It's really hot today. I don't know how well these birds are gonna fly. The other thing is I don't have any coffee because every Tim Hortons in Port Hope is closed. So eyes on the road, heading north, Let's see what comes of the day. You guys heard goose? Oh, there goes some ducks. We are all set up, ready to roll. Mark and Mr. Dave Barstow are with me. There's goose in the air. Geese, goose, geese? Geeses. Geeses? Geeses. It's still a little dark. I think we're shooting hours are right now. The dog's in here and we're gonna wait for some birds. So stay tuned, it's an exciting day. Hey, if we don't shoot a goose, we have to eat vegetarian fajitas. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> Pressure's on. There's that single. They're coming. That's better than none. Yep, coming straight at us. That's four breasts. <laughs> I'm good at math. That's 12 fajitas. The better spread. Huh? No, I think they just got shot at. I think that's what's left to the group because of the way they yeah, yeah. turn and come from up top. They thought about it for a second and then they were like, nope. nope. <sighs> we just got the first birds of the morning. You're not even going to believe what happened. We were, they're over here. We're in our layout blinds. Everybody's got their doors open and a flock comes cruising over the woods. Nobody even closes the door. Hey, nobody even closes the door in their blinds and they decoy perfectly. Marky boy. Bajita. There's one over there too. Bajita. Dude, dude, can you believe they, they decoyed like that with our blinds open? Amazing, they came in like a rocket. Too. That was crazy, I never saw them the last second. Oh man, that's what we're here for. Casey, Casey, find the bird. I saw two fold up for sure. Oh, right there. Get him, Casey. Get him, good girl. 
Good girl, find the bird. Come on. You can lay him right here in the... Good girl, Case, get him. Bring him here. No, not ready for that? Just gonna point at him? Dave, can you believe they, they just came in like that? Oh yeah. I didn't even, we didn't have the doors open. Well, that's why I said don't bother closing them because as long as you don't move, sit still and don't move. Oh, right here. There's another one. No way. We got three. Look at that. <laughs> Took three out of the flock. That was insane. Three down. Three down. Three down. Oh, that's not bad at all. What do you think of him? What do you, you think of him? I didn't even call those ones. No, nope. that was crazy. You noticed I went and got back in before we saw them? Because I heard some down here and I thought something just feels right. Wow, you got a feeling, Dave? Got a feeling. I'm glad I got that on tape. Amazing. Can you believe it? Hey, that's why we hunt with Dave. Yeah, we do. Yeah, it's a good thing he gave up that muzzle loader too, eh? That shotgun muzzle loader. Not just a pretty face, that guy. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go, we're getting more. Vegeta! Vegeta! Success. We made it back to the camp. We stopped. Dave had to go visit his dad. His dad's in the hospital. So shout out to Dave. Good man on him to go to visit the old man today. We are right now going to breast out one of these geese and make fajitas. This morning I didn't get my coffee. I, I think I mentioned that. So shout out to Mark for taking me to get a coffee. Absolute ton of doves in this field. So we were just talking with Mark. Maybe we're gonna make a, a plan to come out here one evening and shoot some doves. There's like tons and tons of them. But right now it's fajitas or fajitas or however you want to say it on the tailgate. Get into our marquee boy. All right, we're getting the fajitas ready. First thing we need to do, cut up our breast meat. Knife out. All I'm gonna do is cut this into nice chunks. All our goose is cubed up. Casey go. And we're gonna throw it in our oil. Ooh. Yeah, right here, my man. Marky Bird got birds cleaned up. I've got dinner cooking. I'm excited. Are you excited for oh, fajitas? Yeah. You're yeah. excited? First time having the goose, the uh, fajitas, so yeah, I'm pretty, pretty Yeah, pumped. excited for goose fajitas? Yeah, man. I like Ian. All right. The extras. We got peppers, we got onions, we got mushrooms, and we got more onions. We're gonna add that, and this is what's gonna make it fajitas just goose right now. So this is a good job geese don't have noses because we're going back out, right? Yeah, yeah. This is the this is the advantage of goose hunting over deer hunting. They the geese are not gonna smell this. Oh I don't know I smell those onions. They might. <laughs> wow. Oil her down. Look at that goodness. Well yeah we're cooking with fire now. We have an hour of shooting light left. Mark, we got one bird that we can get on film again. Yep. You got him. I did. You got him. He came right over that tree line. We were sitting here talking like this and the bugger folded up and landed. Didn't even care. Was not worried about us at all. All the geese we shot today, none of them on camera and all because they caught us with our blinds open. So we're gonna sit tight here, put another hour in. You, be patient. Hopefully we got a couple more birds. One on camera would be good. We got four birds so far, one on camera would be good. Day one of the goose. Home sweet home once again, my friends. We made another adventure. I just got in the door. Ashton just got home. My mom just dropped him off. I spent a little time with my mom. Look who's tired. And Ashton went to the city this weekend because Mr. Ashton had a birthday on September 30, turned 10 years old. It's hard to believe that little Ash man it's 10 years old, I was, I was wrestling, I've had a lot of time to reflect on life and I was thinking the other day that I've done a lot of growing up on YouTube. You guys have watched me year after year after year change and grow and change and change to the household, change to the vlog, change to myself, change to fishing, into hunting, old dogs, new dogs, a lot of change. But I'm, I can't believe that kid's 10 years old. Today, 
was a beauty of a day. I'm so glad I got to spend the day with Mark Hunter. I'm so glad that I got to see Diamond Dave, Mr. Dave Barristow. <sighs> it's been awesome. I've had a great summer. Miss Brooklyn is on her way home now from work. I'm gonna jam some more fajitas. It's been an awesome summer. I, I've enjoyed myself. I've uh, enjoyed having some free time. I really miss you guys. I really miss reading your comments and seeing what you guys think about what is going on. Hunting season is just beginning. I'm really glad that Mark and I got off on a good foot, even though I didn't film any of them. Isn't that a bummer? We got four, uh, four birds today and never got any on film shooting them. That's a bummer. Still lots of time left in the season. Still lots of time to film. I'm going to take the day off tomorrow from the East Hill Outdoors and I'm just going to edit. I'm going to edit videos. I'm going to edit this video. I'm going to share some content. I can't wait to wait to read all your comments. Keep me in the loop. I know we haven't been doing as many videos as I normally do over the years, but that is just part of the process, I guess. There'll be lots more videos. Let me know in the comments what you think. Let me know in the comments what you're thinking, Let what you're doing, what you want to see. And I'm going to go jam some fajitas and we'll see you soon.